Hi YouTube. I hope you're doing great. I'm doing all right. Had a pretty good day. Talked to my daughter-in-law this morning on Messenger, Facebook, and uh, we had a nice talk. They're doing good, her and her daughters and my son. And um, not a lot going on today. I just thought I'd get on here and say hello. Um, I should have called my video yesterday old age and the narcissist that they are demented instead of dementia because they're liars you know and they don't forget anything one thing that I did forget to mention was how they criticize everything and everybody unless it benefits them not to so <coughs> especially their children which really surprised me because I thought, well, being adopted, you know, um, if you treat a kid like garbage, you know, that might be different. But to actually see parents that have children that are their own blood that would set them back or say anything cruel to them at all surprised me in this world personally. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, so... That's about what's going on in my world. Not much. Well, I, I did uh, separate a bunch of tomato plants that I had brought in. Some of them were growing together. Um, I have so many of them. Some more outside still in the garden. But I had ones in pots. So this morning I took like six more of them and put them in their own pots. And um, I've got some that are flowering so they want to make tomatoes but it has been unnaturally cold it was really cold this spring and it's been so rainy and tomatoes like water but not that much so yeah but um yeah good news um i found a place to get some dill and some little cucumbers i might make some pickles i'm thinking on it so yeah um, see what else is going on. I watched a really good movie last night called, um, Robot, Robot o Overlords. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't think I'd watch it. I kind of put it off. It's, um, science fiction, which I love. And fantasy, I like that too, you know. But, um, well, I like a lot of movies. But, like, if it's supposed to be, like, comedy and then if there's crude stuff in there, I don't find that funny. You know, like people watch America's Funniest Videos and then some baby falls on their face or some old man or lady and people are laughing. And, you know, I have out of shock, but not because I think it's funny, but they laugh hearty, heartily, you know, whole heart laughter at people's suffering you know it's like this isn't funny this is America's stupidest videos is the way I look at it and I try and turn it on like once a year or something I'll think well I've seen some funny stuff on there but the stuff that isn't funny is what uh, turns makes me turn it off you know so yeah but anyway so that was good movie it had uh Jillian Anderson in it from the X-Files Scully and uh she had a uh, English accent in that movie which was kind of interesting <laughs> so have you all um seen any good movies lately these ones I've been watching are free movies on YouTube so yeah like today I tried to get my TV antenna to behave so my channels would come in <clears throat> I was getting four of them yesterday, and then I had to move some of my um, cords that I have lights in, and uh, then I messed up my antenna again, so I got to find just the right spot, you know. <laughs> well, let's see, I heard they're going to shut down YouTube Messenger. Well... I don't know if Doug's getting notices or what, but it'll be like I'll send a video through YouTube messaging to him and 
he I don't know if it doesn't show up in his notifications or what it is, but I don't think it works like it's supposed to anyway. Or maybe it does and he just doesn't know where to go to look to see if I've sent him anything. You know, so I tried to show him, but I don't know. So, um, I don't know if I've, maybe I've sent a couple other things to people through Messenger, I'm not sure, on YouTube. But, um, yeah, so I, I mean, I didn't really use it that much to really know if it worked really well or not. I don't know if any of you have, but, yeah, it's, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess I did, um, Doug Ed sent me, Oh, some street performer. Um, I think it was a guitar player. Oh, no, no. It was a piano player. And um, so, and I told him, nice. He, this guy was playing piano. And then, like, a little girl come up and started playing. And then another guy came in and started playing. And they, like, took turns. And then two of them at one time were playing. And... It was pretty cool, you know, stuff like that. So, or I'll send. Um, I've sent things like about the fallen angel bloodline, and you know, angel is a loose term for that anyway. <laughs> you know, not really maybe the proper term. You know. So anyway, well, yeah. If angel means messenger and they're fallen angel, what are they a messenger of? You know, so. Oh, it's like uh, I was watching Robin Hood and he was talking about, well, he had Jonathan Cleck on there. And uh, Cleck thinks he's like real Christian. Well, whatever, you know, whatever that means, you know. Um, excuse me. Uh, loving God and actually sounding like that might be a couple different ways of doing that but he said something about having something written on his butt and I wrote on Robin's channel it's like yeah um what he's got written on his butt Satan said uh take a seat sign Satan <laughs> that's all he's got written on his butt what a way to talk you know so Anyway, it's just this crafts type of language that these certain type of, well, narcissistic personalities, you either are or you aren't, you know, nowadays. Yeah, you're either good or bad. <laughs> good people strive to be better. Uh, bad people think they're already good enough, you know. So, excuse me. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh. I bet people that have to go to work are really glad the week's over unless you work weekends, which I used to do a lot. And I'd work nights too. And <clears throat> I kind of liked that when I was uh, with the kids' dad working nights. Um, then I wouldn't need a babysitter, so that was kind of nice. So, But it was hard to do. Because then, like, um, well, this one hospital I was working in, I would work, like, uh, 3 to 11, but I'd go in for some of my schooling, and so I'd be getting home about midnight or even 1. And um, that was a little rough. And then my one son, my oldest one, <coughs> excuse me, liked to get up early. So I kind of lay there on the couch watching him like a vegetable, you know, and then I'd get my exercises done and um, get my housework done and get ready for work and start it all over again. That was a little hard. <laughs> so, but yeah. But, uh, and then if nobody was around during the day and I was working late or something, then I'd have to be awake all day, too. So sometimes it was a little bit hard to do. So, Or working weekends, too. Running a business and working. <laughs> More work. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, 
I don't know. That's probably about all that's on my mind. I, I, um, you know, yeah, um, to David Lynn, I, I know the difference between, uh, a narcissist and dementia and Alzheimer's and all the rest of the elderly diseases and sometimes even younger people get it and it can stem from malnutrition and all kinds of reasons, drinking, um, head injuries, um, yeah, your heart, all kinds of reasons. So, um, but a narcissist is none of those. It's all in here or here. They're lacking, you know, so. And they're as sharp as a tack. Take, for instance, Doug says, here's some, some ammo for your YouTube. And I said, well, I already told him that, but some of you haven't heard this. Um, <coughs> Doug's mother, which I call the fallen angel bloodline, um, well, she lied about a child and, um, well, let's just put it this way. Um, she ended up not being able to talk and not being able to feed herself. They fed her with a tube through her stomach and she loved to eat. I mean, loved, loved, loved food more than a lot of people and uh, she ended up not being able to feed herself, talk, or eat. And the moral of the story is if you don't, you, you know, if you don't watch what you say and it could harm another human being, then God may take the ability for you to speak away. And it seems to kind of work like that. I've seen people that had uh, injured me um, get cancer and die and things like that or have car accidents, um, all kinds of things. Nothing I wished on them. Well, I got to admit one time I did and it was actually against Doug and he had a car accident and then um, somebody we both knew stepped on his arm while he was laying on the ground and broke his arm. But that's another story. And yes, he did deserve it. And I actually have saved his life before several times. The first time I was 17 and we didn't even know each other. And I was just going to walk away because I really didn't like people a whole lot. But I went back and told his friend to take his tongue out of his mouth. He was, or you know, lay him over on his side. He was choking on his tongue. So, but anyway, so I mean, I didn't have any evil intent, but the night that he truly offended me and um, after I did meet him and he had his car accident, I wasn't really sad about it. And I'm glad he didn't die. But, you know, and I considered him somewhat of a friend, somewhat, but he sure tricked me. <laughs> he really did. But kind of and kind of not because I told him, if you aren't Christ-like, you're going to be sorry. And he's not sorry yet, but he will be. He'll have remorse. The closer these monsters get to death, they're, they're scared whether they want to admit it. You know, so yeah, they are. They're scared of death. In fact, if you have somebody picking on you, remind them that we all die. They like that. <laughs> you know, the rest of us know that we're here to learn lessons, you know, not out of pain or anything else, but just learn, you know, no matter what it takes. And um, the other ones think that they're the ones teaching us a lesson. But that's not the way it is. God teaches us they don't listen. So he'll teach them, you know. And yeah, it would be hell to be a dishonest person or be a cruel person. 
and have to live with yourself knowing that, you know, it's just like, um, like, for instance, I told somebody, you know, how they could study and know what I was talking about without, um, uh, you know, just using an open mind and an open book and uh, getting to the bottom of languages to get the truth. Well, they don't want to do that. They'd rather put me down, you know. This is that narcissistic personality um, that really, well, I don't know. I know where I'm going with that, but okay, just a minute. I'll try and get back on track what I was saying with that. Um, they they really are lazy learners. They don't want to, they, they don't want to they don't think they think they know everything enough where they don't ask for God's guidance and they don't want to learn they really don't it seems like um people that have God in their heart you strive to know more um you know, there's a drive inside of you. It's like, that's why I do so many things, because I want to learn. I want to, you know, it's like learning another language or learning how to cook something new or working on a car or whatever it is, you know, playing chess or, you know, whatever. Um You know, that's just, uh, oh, I don't know. Or, you know, playing instruments, learning a new instrument. I mean, I play a little bit of piano, but I want to play a little more, you know, so I'll have to study, you know. So, but another day. Yeah, I'll, I'll let this go. I don't really know what more I could say on the people that, um, I mean, you can give them proof, but if they're too lazy to and would rather argue with you about a point that they don't know anything about, they, I can make my point, I can give them evidence, and they don't care. They'd rather believe that they know it all and just hold still with where they're at. And so arguing a point with somebody that isn't willing to take your advice and look in the area that you showed them to look, it's like um, you're debating because you have your facts and your side of the situation and it's actual proof. They're arguing against your debate. So you are debating with an argument um it really gets you nowhere it's like you can it, you know okay here's another for instance they think they know everything about everything no matter what the subject is you know you could be an excellent skier they may not ski at all but they would tell you how to do it you know that type of thing and it is true you know it's like I'll do something and they're so envious you know and um, because they don't have that drive you know so I'll do something and a narcissist will say well yeah you should do it like this or that and I'm like how do you know you don't even do that you know that type of thing so that's where I was going with that um, they're lazy learners because they really are you can, and arguing with them act absolutely will get you nowhere. So you can debate and they'll argue, and that's where the, you know, well, even in a debate is um, putting it mildly, you can have actual proof of languages and what the words actually mean, and they won't give you the time of day to pick up that book and listen to you. And, and prove it to their selves so they you know 
like I say, they think they know it all, so they're going to have to just wait and find out that they know. So. But yeah, like I said, tell them they're all going to die. Scares the hell out of them, whether they admit it or not. And tell, tell them that too. It scares you, doesn't it? You can uh, torment them. Why not? I'm not saying terrorize, but torment. Nothing wrong with tormenting a narcissist. Because you feel God, you know God's with you and you're going to be okay. Your um, essence will be, it, you're always you. See, they don't know that. God just gives you that peaceful feeling inside knowing that that he is our father and you do feel like his kid they don't feel like his kid because they're not they're satan's kids so. well i'm going to leave it on that note like i said i just kind of talking tonight about stuff that was on my mind and kind of let's see if i can think of any jokes i saw on facebook oh well i did see one cute thing I saw a guy put down a plate of food. It looked like it was a poodle on one one spot. Went over and gave, well, first he gave this little chihuahua a plate of food, put the food down for the poodle, backed further. That chihuahua picked up the plate by the food. It must have been canned food. And so he grabbed the food and the plate and carried it back to where it the poodle was so they could eat together you know it was really funny very cute so. yeah well I'm gonna let you go have a really good night or day wherever you're at and don't forget to tear torment your narcissist with the death fact we all die two things we can't get out of taxes and debt yeah and if you have a good accountant, or you can do your own books real well, you might get out of your taxes, too, legally. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it pays to be smart. That's what God said, too, you know. If you know how to account for things, you won't be taxed. <laughs> so, peace, everybody. Have a good night or day. <laughs>